So starting with some deep breaths, we're going to do a little bit of a Kriya for charging the aura, waking up the energy body. So it's going to be focused a lot on the solar plexus, and then we'll take the energy of the solar plexus out and surround the field with it. So we'll just begin with some grounding and deep belly breaths, really filling the diaphragm as you breathe. Growing your roots, sinking into the earth. And letting the light come down into the top of the head. And when you start to feel the energy getting lighter, rising up into the crown, you can inhale your arms up above the head and just hold them there for a few breaths. And with your next inhale, bring your gaze up towards the hands, bring the palms together in prayer. And just look at the thumbs, look at the ceiling or the sky above you and invite the light to pour down into the body. Deep inhale. Big ha, releasing sigh. Inhale, exhale, interlacing the fingers, bringing them down, arms straight in front of the heart, palms facing into the chest, and the arms come in line with the shoulders parallel to the ground in front of the heart. Three breaths here. Inhale, pressing the palms out and forward. Three breaths here and envision green and pink light pouring from the heart chakra, out the arms, out the palms, through the hand chakras. Deep inhale, big sigh, inhale. Exhaling, interlacing the hands behind the body at the sacrum, pulling the hands interlaced back behind you, and opening the heart. Deep inhale, exhale, folding forward, keeping the fingers interlaced. Inhale, coming up to a neutral spine. Roll the shoulders out, release the fingers, and finding a few rolls with the shoulders, placing the hands on the knees. And then progressing from rolling the shoulders to inhaling forward, exhaling back with seated cat cows, spinal flexes, opening the chest forward, exhaling back. And coming back into stillness, 
closing the eyes, interlacing the hands over the solar plexus. You can bring the thumbs right to the part of the rib cage, interlacing the fingers to encompass the solar plexus and the pinkies extend into the navel. So you, your hands, the thumbs and pinkies are going to be partially extended while the fingers are interlaced so that you can bring contact to those nerve points and tucking the elbows into the ribs. <clears throat> and we'll begin breath of fire. We'll take three minutes of breath of fire and you're cultivating that inner heat, that inner light. So fingers interlace over the belly, thumbs at the point where the rib cage opens, pinky, tips of the pinkies just touching to the top of the belly button or into the navel. Breath of fire, elbows tucked in. Long, tall spine, activating the light of Manipura, the energies of Ram, the light of the sun within you and charging every cell with life force energy to bring energy to your day and to fill and protect and seal the auric field. Feel the heat rising. Envision the gold light surrounding your whole body. Deep inhale, big ha, breath out and purifying the system now with 11 lion's breath at your own full breath capacity.
deep inhale. Big sigh when you're complete. <sighs> Release the fingers to face down on the knees. Five breaths here. On your next inhale, bringing the arms out to a T at shoulder height and the palms to press out to the extension of the aura. And you're going to hold the arms strong, roll the shoulders back and down, hug the shoulder blades in, but press out through the hands. And you have as much strength out through the arms as you can and begin breath of fire one minute. Deep inhale, big sigh. Next inhale, bring the backs of the hands together above the head. And you're going to fill with the inhale, pause, holding the breath, tuck the belly button in. Exhale, sending all the energy out to the field until the fingertips come down to the ground beside you. Inhale, once your fingertips reach the ground, inhale back up quickly. Hold. Exhale, slowly down. Inhale. Exhale, slowly down. Inhale. Hold. Exhale, slowly down. Two more. Once you've finished the last breath, really press your fingertips into the ground beside you, bringing them just out extended from the hips. 
open the heart, press the fingertips into the ground, breathe through the fingertips, through the heart, and feel the energy of the earth coursing up through your hands, into the heart, through the core, balancing divine feminine and divine masculine within the body, bringing groundedness for your day. Deep inhale, big ha breath out. And slowly letting the arms float back up, bringing the fingertips to the top of the crown, to the center of the head where the pineal gland sits. And just breathing here for a couple of breaths. And then pulling the fingertips away from the center of the head down to the temples. A couple of breaths here. And then spreading the fingertips to meet at the third eye, thumbs at the temples. And then begin just lightly tapping the fingertips along the forehead, along that line of the crown and along the temples. And you're going to keep focusing deep, slow breaths, but on your exhales, you're going to flutter the lips. Like a horse. Awakening all the nerves of the scalp, the face, the lips, the mouth. And then progressing the tapping down onto the back of the neck and along the sides of the neck, the throat and the collarbones. And your exhale is going to become a lion's breath. And you can feel when the tongue sticks out, the scalenes protrude, tap along the scalenes when you can feel those muscles of the neck that stick out. <sighs> Stimulating the vagus nerve. <sighs> Balancing the brain to heart to nervous system connection. And then progressing to the chest and the heart and tapping through the sternum and the heart and along the esophagus, along the chest, and even the rib cage now. And your deep breaths still going, but your exhales are going to transform into ah, letting the voice resonate through the heart. <sighs> Even extending your arms to try and get your back body. <sighs> A little bit of an awkward bend, but feel the whole rib cage as you go. <sighs> <sighs> and then progressing down to the solar plexus and the belly, the sideways, connecting and tapping energy through the organs and the digestive system. 
And now your exhale is going to turn into that breath of sun that we've practiced in our 200 hour training, where it's like that growling, blazing fire in the back of your throat, like you're trying to cough something out of the throat, but with a long exhale. <sighs> Now transitioning to the hips and the legs and the knees, the calves, the ankles, the feet. And you're going to keep a continuous breath, but your breath is going to be feeding a long, low hum inside the lower belly. Getting the sound as deep into your core as you can. You want to feel the sound get into the belly, into the hips if you can. So if it might be the lowest your voice can possibly go. And coming into stillness, placing the hands face down on the knees. Feeling the energy buzzing through your body, grounding into the earth and considering how you will feel today. Choosing how I will feel today. Is it easeful, graceful, comfortable, happy, bright, peaceful, balanced, silent, calm, out of it, <laughs> stepping out for the day, being fully present. Choose now how you will move through your day today and reflect on how this choice comes up through your day. Whenever you feel you have settled on an intentional feeling for your day today, you can bring your palms in prayer at your heart and just focus that energy into the center of your being, taking your time to choose how I will move through my day, how I will feel through this day today, honoring that center of your being. And resonating that vibration out through the field and into the physical plane with the power of the voice, we'll close this session of our Kriya with three ohms and then move into our sharing.
Namaste, Satnam. May you be energized and mindful through your day today after this practice and find the space to reflect on that intentional feeling to carry through your day.